So, we are back with another freaking video. Back with another freaking video. video. Bring us on his trillion videos. Trillion. Before we get started, baby, go ahead and trillion. roll them on in. What's up, y'all? <laughs> Happy New Year's 2021. Let's get the ball rolling with guess who? Hey, man, so, you know, um, on that Zeus track when he was talking about Snoop, so I wanted to pull up. I saw this on here about why Eminem clarified why he responded to Snoop on Zeus. Okay. So, I mean, let's hear what, let's hear what the, the, the reason is. It's also a, uh, a reference where, not even a reference, where, you know, you're, you're, you're talking about or speaking to Snoop in the sense of, you know, he, he you don't need to be dogged by him. And I, I didn't know exactly when or where what this new dude that made you put this line in this song. Well, a couple of months ago, you know, he was doing an interview with The Breakfast Club. Somehow my name got brought up and he was saying things about, you know, I'm not in his top 10. And everything he said, by the way, was fine, like up to a point. You know, when he like, like, hey, I've never said like him saying that, that he, I'm not in his top 10 because there's some rappers from the 90s that I can't fuck with. I, you know, A, a him saying Dre made the best version of me, absolutely. Like, why would I have a problem with that? Like, if, would I be here without Dre? Fuck no, I would The rappers he mentioned from the 90s, Karis, One, Big Daddy Kane, G-Rap, like I've never said I could fuck with them. I never said that, you know what I'm saying? So it's all, like everything was good until like, hit, you know, it was more like, I think it was more about the talk. You know, and when I think about it, when you're trying to compare them against M, I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm, I'm no old school and new school, but M would have faded all them cats from the back in the day because it's, they couldn't touch them lyrically and with speed and lyrically. I don't think that some of them, KRS, I don't think KRS could touch Everybody them. minus KRS-One. I don't know. KRS, KRS-One is by himself. I don't know. To me, I that's think, just my opinion. I think M kind of fade a lot of the, the, the original guys. But that's me. Gotcha. Oh, he was using that caught me off guard because I'm like, yo, where is this coming from? I just saw you. Like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, it just, it threw me for a loop again. I probably could have got past the whole tone and everything, but it was the last statement when he said, as "Far as music, I can live without. I can live without that shit." Now you're just now you're being disrespectful. For Ooh, me. like yeah. it just caught me off guard. I wasn't ready for that. And people started hitting me up about it. Like, oh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And, and I didn't know what to do about it at first. Because I just, it, 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 it confused me because I'm like, no, bro, same team. We're on the same team. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. And I have never in my career, my entire career, ever said a disrespectful word about Snoop Dogg. I mean, what the fuck? Like, his impact on hip hop, like, I can't, I can't front on that. But it's like, at what point does it start becoming like, Okay, now you you know everyone's entitled to their opinion. My top ten, top five ain't gonna be the same as his, but everyone's entitled to their opinion. So how could I be mad at that? I wasn't mad about the opinion. It was after that. It was the, you know that the very last statement was like, oh, what the fuck? Like, damn, dog. Like, really? But you know, I said what I said. I addressed it. I felt like what what it, like I said what I needed to say. And I'm not saying the true size, but it definitely is. Uh... It's a song that's going to be talked about for a minute, man. This is Zeus, music to be murdered by Side B, the deluxe edition, Eminem. Okay, so. so what I what I feel is that I would not have even compared him with them right off the rip, in my opinion, because okay. it's two, you know, time eras. But we're let's say artists. We're talking lyrics. I still feel like lyric wise, Eminem and KRS One are, you know. Have, have a certain level of skill. Yeah. To me, they're they're in the same category. And okay. people may say, well, KRS-One was like the father. Well, yeah, he started, but lyrically, I think they're neck and neck. He mentioned Big Daddy so, Kane, and who were the other two? Big Daddy Kane. Um, KRS-One, I don't know. He didn't say Slick Rick, did he? No. Okay, it was Big Daddy Kane. I forgot the other two people, y'all. Who was it? But keep going. Anyway, uh, so Big Daddy Kane had lyrics, but mm, not like KRS one. So, but that's not the point. The point is what he's saying according to what Snoop felt, not according exactly. to what you feel. Exactly. So my that's th my point though. That's why I'm saying what I'm saying is because it was odd to me that Snoop would need to even categorize those artists and compare him or you know or put them up there, you know, with that. Yeah, because M is in a lot of people's top, you know, mm -hmm. artists. So, 
But like I said, I understand. Was, yeah, he wasn't even offended. It's just when he said you can keep that, like almost like trash, like saying right. like I'm trash or yeah. something. So I feel, so I can understand why it makes somebody respond the way he did. I wonder yeah. how they talked to, you know, probably not. Right? That's probably like. I don't know. I guess it may have to well, be no, a little Snoop time. Well, no, Snoop put it on, some, on a stand page, on a page. And they said, um, y'all going to quit, uh, quit something with that soft, that soft it. Like you were saying about them being soft about, um, you know, saying what he said about that whole country. He said, that's soft. This whole thing, talking about this is soft. Mm -hmm. So, okay. I don't know. And everyone is entitled to their opinion. Don't get me wrong. It ain't that big of a deal. Yeah. But, you know, when you think about levels and skills, I think KRS1 is fire and so is Eminem. That's what I'm saying. All right, man. So, I mean, I guess that's what it is. That's what it, why the response was. I was wondering what brought it up because Snoop is such a legend and everybody of only course. talks about him in a positive light. So. Exactly. So. Wow. Okay. So it's Eminem. Never heard people talk bad about Eminem. So I wonder if they're gonna hope. Hopefully, they're going to be able to have this conversation. I hope so. And, Cause they're too you know, grown. Just, they're grown, grown. Yeah. Just so. squash it. That's right. Go ahead, and lead them on out, baby. All right, y'all. Oh, so glad you came and hung out with us again. Hanging out with us, guys, for another dope video. How are you spending your 2021 this year? Give us in the comments below and subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel, man. We'll see you on the next one. 50K. Man. Bye, bye.